idea how vindictive his new wife could be. She's literally out to destroy my life. You know, it's, it's an impossible situation. I mean, he would never want to admit it, but he knows that he could never make this woman happy. He could never be the idea of a husband that she has in her mind. So one night, he decided to break free. And I thought it was a good idea. Well, a little while. Those coffins have burned. Yeah, must have been it was pretty bad. What the hell was that crap that you posted online? You think you can play the victim? All you did was broadcast to the entire universe what a psycho freak you are. Well, Mama, take it easy. Okay, you know what? Don't worry, Nicholas. I'm used to it by now. Lisa is a demented freak who is trying to destroy my life and who really enjoys spreading lies about me and my family. All I did was make one entry on an anonymous website. Okay, I didn't mention you or Patrick by name. Why the hell would you post something online if you didn't want anyone to see it? You're trying to be the victim, but really? You just look like a psychotic Robin, freak. Robin, that's, that's enough. What is wrong with you? Can I worry about you? Don't. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Thank you for was hitting me. Um, no one knew because I was so good at covering. But underneath... I felt sick and angry and totally alone. Sometimes I think you feel the same way. You're just better at covering than I was. Look, um, when I first got out of prison, it was really hard for me. But things are better for me now. And I'm not just saying that to cover or anything. I really mean that. Now, did we agree on history or physics? Physics. Nice dodge, by the way. Uh, I'm not the one going to Yale, so... You should apply. And if they turn you down, it's their loss. You cannot compare your relationship with Sonny to mine with Jerry. Jerry and I were kids together, okay? We grew up together. And he betrayed everything we were. Okay, he's still your brother. Sonny's still my father. It's one thing to say you can keep your emotions in check. It's another thing entirely to actually do it. Look, Sonny's not even a big part of my life. I still have to fight the urge to protect him. You and Jerry have a real bond. You can't be objective. Listen to me. Jerry and I have drifted apart. Now Brenda's life could be at stake. I've already turned against my brother. I'll do whatever it takes. You going to a funeral? Not that I know of. Uh, but welcome to the Cuisine of France. Yeah, the style yeah, pick it up, Miss Barrett. Um, well, she is upstairs getting ready, and you will be dining here. I uh, know we will not. Stone Cold's orders were very specific. I don't need Jason's permission to go on a date. You understand? Hey. Uh, Mr. Sir appears to be unaware of Stone Cold's edict that the Divine One is not to leave the premises for her is own he still safety. Here? Are you okay with us staying? No, I'm not. Let's okay, go. Good. I, I apologize, but I cannot let you leave the premises. Okay. <laughs> Get, out. Get out of the way. Oh. What's going on here? Uh, we're sorry, boss. We can't let the lady leave. We're under orders. Is this a mutiny? No, it's a brasserie. <sighs> it's French. Let's go. Uh, boss, can you, can you just hang out, relax. Milo and I worked really hard on this. Okay, you love your jobs, right? You want to get fired? Please just try the first chorus. Max and I worked so hard. It smells nice. my friend why are you siding with lisa uh, robin i'm not siding with anyone i'm just trying to be rational here and i'm not being rational is that what you're implying <sighs> if you could hear yourself right now you wouldn't have to ask that question because you're being manipulated and you don't even see it you know i should be heading to the ER. no i want you to stay here hey, and hear this do you know that she's been trying to kill me to try to dismantle my life <sighs> you're my friend okay i care about you but i but i do not understand you right now I mean, really screaming fights in public, swearing in front of, in front of staff and, and patients and calling me out for simply suggesting that you get it together? I mean, come on, that's not you. God. What am I doing? <laughs>
have to help. Here's your autopsy report, Detective. Mm. Facts just came in from Jersey. Looks like the murder weapon is a regulation sidearm. Alexander Janicek. We've selected an excellent Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley to complement our soup course. It is known to be crisp, clean, and slightly fruity. Thank you, Spinelli. Well, it's, kind of, it's ridiculous, because Max can't even boil water for pasta. Well, your projectors of the night have been studying the culinary arts as of late. That's lovely. <sighs> Do you like it? Not bad. This is actually reminding me of our first date, you know, when you told me you were going to take me to the best restaurant in town. Yeah, I was arrogant. You were actually right. <laughs> you were arrogant, but right a lot of the time. You know, all those years I was in Rome, I never found a red sauce quite like yours. I was inspired. You know what I really loved about your old apartment? You always had this incredible <laughs> lighting. Everybody looked great. Yeah. And you had, the music was always really perfect, the music. You were breathtaking. And I used to, I used to wonder, like, what, what, why would she like somebody like me? May we present an heirloom tomato bisque with leeks, thyme, and roasted garlic? I roasted the garlic myself. Oh, thank you. Also, yeah. it's non-dairy, so as not to make either of you, uh, gas. Oh, that's reassuring. Wow. Wow, that's... Taste that.